Belfast built the Titanic so the city can be forgiven for wanting to make a big deal of its past. 100,000 people have already bought tickets to this new centre, which does an excellent job bringing history to life, reminding us of how the great ship brought together people from such diverse backgrounds. Life on the Titanic was completely different, dependent on what class you were travelling in. Third class was the home for the poor. Very often migrant worker families, men, women and children, from places like Southern Ireland, who had packed up all their belongings, got on the boats and were off to the United States of America in search of a better life. And yet if you go up through second class then and into the first class accommodation, a completely different world. First class was the home to millionaires, people who were on board this boat just because they could do it, an expression of their status in life. These were people who went port out starboard home posh as it became known. The Titanic then wasn't just a floating city, it was a floating expression of the class system of the time. But death came at night when the rich and the poor were asleep. The size of your bed mattered less than how far you were from a lifeboat. Stories from the time show how the class structure of the Titanic determined what chance you had of getting off alive. Just over a hundred men died from first class, only a small number of women and no children. Nearly four times as many third class male passengers died, often along with their entire families. They just couldn't get out. Third class uh, were down in the, on the lower decks in the dungeons, so to speak, and had a long and difficult route to reach the boat deck. And messages had to be passed to and fro by the time they got to the boat decks. The boat, in most cases, the boats were gone. In Belfast, they've also been remembering the engineers and staff who built and operated the ship, which is especially poignant for people like Susie, whose great-grandfather Tommy died on board. The company which owned the Titanic cancelled the contracts of hundreds of staff from the moment it hit the iceberg, denying the workers' families compensation. They did stop their pay and um, certainly our family never received anything more from White Star. What they did receive was a, a charitable donation from the Titanic funds each week of, of five shillings and five pence, which was paid uh, up till the, the boy's 16th birthday. So at least they weren't left totally destitute. By the time it became clear what had happened, the media of the time had become obsessed with the wealthy who'd perished, like the American businessman and millionaire Benjamin Guggenheim. History remembers him as a hero because he chose to die wearing a dinner suit. Then as now, some people's lives were worth more than others. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, Belfast.